Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today we are going to compare Prima Bolin to Equipoise. But before we get started, quick shout out and thank you to everybody out there watching and supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, share, whatever you can do. It feeds the algorithm, it lets the channel grow, and it allows me to produce more and more content for you each and every day. Also, today's episode is sponsored by letsgetchecked.com. Now, letsgetchecked.com specializes in at-home blood testing. It's seamless, it's easy. I cannot stress to you enough the importance of blood work. I've done videos on this. All that you have to do, go to the website, order whatever test kit you want. They have everything. They have male and female types of testing. They have full hormonal panels. They have wellness. They have sexual health. They even have COVID testing at home. They do it all. It's easy, seamless. All you have to do is buy the kit. They ship it to you. You can actually get it overnighted if you like. Otherwise, it's sent via priority mail. You get the kit. You take the test, you send it right back to them. There's nurses and doctors and practitioners on there at all times that can help you with your blood work. The results come quickly. It's efficient, it's easy, and they are well known for being one of the best. Use the code JAMELLI30 to save 30% off your entire order. So let's get talking about Prima Bolin versus Equipoise. Now, one of the main reasons that I wanted to do these two in comparison is because as we know, unfortunately, Prima Bolin is often faked. And um, many of you know that one of the things that it's faked with a lot is equipoise. Why do people do this? How do we tell the difference? Is there a big difference? Or what, what's the deal altogether? First, very quickly, look, Prima Bolin is very difficult to get. Please, look, I know everybody wants to ask, don't leave comments on YouTube, on anybody's channel, or implicating yourself asking where to buy steroids, okay? It's one thing to buy SARMs and peptides, which are technically legal to get online and buy. D just use common sense. And I know some of you are going, huh? Who would say such a thing? I get comments all the time like that, and I just... I want to be as nice and kind to everybody as I can, but that is like screams common sense. And I know that common sense is not nearly as common as it once was, but please, this is as common as it gets. Um, understand that you are always risking it with Prima Bowl unless you have like the most trusted source out there possible on getting something fake. And, and that might not even be their fault because oftentimes people get raw shipped to them that are fake as well and they don't test everything at all times, which they should be doing. Um, but so how can we tell the differences here? Like, are they really that close together? Well, honestly, there's a lot of differences in there and you can really get a lot of these through blood work. The first uh, is the amount of RBC increases that you're gonna get with equipoise, um, hematocrit. You can start looking at things like that and if those are going drastically elevated, you're gonna know right then that's not Prima Bolin. Um, Prima Bowl is not going to drastically do that to you. A couple other differences here. Prima Bowl, if you are prone to MPB, it's going to cause hair loss. Where Equipoise really isn't unless you're very, very prone to it. And if you're prone to it, any of them could cause it. But uh, Prima Bowl would definitely cause it at a more dr uh, drastic and rapid rate because it's a DHT derivative. Uh, a couple other things that you'll notice with equipoise. It's going to take a lot longer for you to notice things with it. It's such a long ester. And the thing that, that they can get away with on this is because equipoise and because Prima Bullet aren't profound, like you're not going to gain like a D-ball or an anadrol or something very rapid and a lot of weight or a lot of water. Both are pretty dry. Primo is going to be drier though. There is... No estrogen conversion with Prima Bolin whatsoever, and it's oftentimes, it, which it shouldn't be, is used as an aromatase inhibitor. It has anti-estrogen benefits, so it can allow you to use less of an uh, aromatase inhibitor. Where with Equipoise, on paper, it does have a slight conversion to estrogen. However, a lot of people have said that it can drain your estrogen as well, and there's such a huge argument on this, and I honestly don't really know because everybody's different and I've seen some people react a certain way and some people react the complete opposite way. Um, <clears throat> and it's hard for me to tell on myself because I am so estrogen prone as it is that those things don't really affect me like they should. But 
on paper, equipoise can slightly convert to estrogen, although it's very dry as well. Now, being that it takes a lot longer to really kick in, you're going to notice prima bullying a lot quicker than you would with equipoise. A lot of people don't really start seeing a ton from equipoise to like week seven, eight, and nine, where with prima bullying, like, you know, within the fourth week, you're going to pretty much be able to know that you're on it. It's nothing drastic. But the reason I love Primavolin is it's continuously gradual. So you'll be able to tell a lot quicker, you know, that you're using it. Um, with Equipoise 2, some people have reported anxiety increases. Some people have imported, uh, reported increased hunger, where those are things that you're tech really not going to see a lot with Primavolin at all. I mean, any steroid could cause anxiety on people if you're prone to it, but it's not likely. And Equipoise would be far more likely than Primavolin would ever be. Um in in terms of like what you're going to gain from them you you can probably gain a little bit more size with equipoise especially since it can increase your appetite and it's just a little bit more apt to do that it's supposed to be more closer to to deca uh some people will argue that it is some people will argue that it isn't some people absolutely love equipoise and some people just don't i you know like for me one of the things i'm a big endurance athlete i've used equipoise several times and people act like it's so great for endurance and i get it you know it was made for for horses and to, to inject them and things but on me personally i don't notice much of anything with the endurance factor and maybe it's because i use things like gw5015 and sr9009 for that kind of benefit and they're a lot more suitable for that and more geared toward that um but you know, if you're getting a pretty good endurance increase, Prima Bullen also can help a little bit with endurance. Prima Bullen, though, is going to boost your immune system and things of that nature as well, where Equipoise is not going to do anything like that. So some of the differences are more subtle. And if you're not um, an aficionado, I guess, with these and you're newer to it, you probably would get by you. I mean, I could see it. If you're not well educated on them and you wouldn't really know the difference, I would know the difference immediately. But I'm a Prima Bullen snob, and Prima Bullen's my favorite compound of any compound ever known to man. So, of course, I'm going to be able to tell the difference between Equipoise and Prima Bullen. But the blood work markers are going to be key for you, okay? Because Equipoise is definitely going to hit you on the, like I said, the RBCs, the hematocrit. Um, it could, you know, hit you on a couple other markers where Prima Bullen's not as well, but those are the main two. So those are definitely some telltale signs right there uh, that, that would help you. But um, like I said, Prima Bullen's going to kick in a lot quicker. So that's another thing where Equipoise is going to be more drawn out. So, you know, keep these things in mind. Also, I guess another thing that you could factor in there, uh, there are plenty of people that says Prima Bullen causes them a good amount of PIP. I've had plenty of smooth Prima Bullen, but, you know, a lot of people, they do get that harsher injection pain. That'll be another way that you can maybe tell. It's not a guarantee, but if you're getting some pretty good injection pain, that's probably not Equipoise, um, unless it's a, like an Equipoise, like a bold known 400. And even then, at, at such a high uh, concentration volume of 400, it's really not horrible um, and Prima Bullen definitely could be a little bit more painful as well. So those are some factors and some telltale signs and some, some differences between them. Um, you know, both are going to give pretty nice dry results. I feel like that Prima Bullen is going to make you feel better. Um, it's going to be a little bit more drier. And I feel like you're going to get more lean muscle with it where you might be able to get a little bit more total size with Equipoise. And you might notice that that... Um, endurance benefit to an extent. Don't be thinking that you're going to improve your mile time by several minutes or something crazy, but you might see some some boost there and you might notice it more in muscular endurance. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of similarities there and a lot of the differences are more subtle. And so the blood work's going to tell you more than anything. Um, but I definitely prefer Prima Bullen far more than I do Equipoise for, like I said, just the way you feel on it, the totality of the results, the lessons of the, the lessening of the side effects that you get with, with Prima Bullen. And, and I just feel like it's just very clean and that it is, for somebody like me, it's far more suitable than for somebody that maybe is more into bulking. But it, then again, it can keep your bulking cycle very clean and very nice. You just might not notice it as much as a person like me that's a little bit 
you know, a lot more smaller, leaner, and that's what I'm aiming for, and that's more suitable for what I like. And everybody's different, but I just want you to understand the the subtle differences here. And Equipoise would be fine and great on a recomp. You can do a cut with it, but it's going to be better in the recomp or bulking. So just plan on getting a little bit more size um, with it. But you know, there are other factors there as well. So. There you go. That is Prima Bolin versus Equipoise. That being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli, signing off.